chaos during White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki's final day at the podium. She got into it with this reporter, and it got a little bit ugly. I want to talk about that, and then I also want to show you one line from a reporter to Jen Psaki that stood out to me as being particularly bad. Let's watch the sparring between the reporter and Jen Psaki today. By the way, uh, there's a reason why the president's meeting with, uh, with King Adel this morning was, was not over the press. Usually the president's meeting with, with farm business. Wait for it. Them to ask the questions. I, I understand completely. It's, a, it's a, a private meeting. It wasn't meant to be a bilateral meeting of discussion. They've known each other for some time. Jeff, can I ask you a question from Dubai? Jeff, can I ask you a question from Dubai? Please stop. I understand, but Simon, you know, for 15 months, there's no harm in the And I'm saying that for the sake of equity, we should have pressure on the table. First of all, thank you for your service, and thank you for your service as well. On the issue of formula, I think, if anything, this crisis reminded everyone that this is not a question. Simon, if you could respect your colleagues and other media and reporters in here, that would be greatly appreciated. Go ahead, Mary. If anything, this, sir, please. It's still going. This is reminded, I think, the entire and country and the world that this is not a luxury not item, not item not but an essential. Not Thank you. Not today. Not today, she said. It's her last day, after all. Come on. Now, I want to go back to one particular moment when this journalist dropped a line directed at Jen Sack. Please show some respect. Honestly, Morella. And I'm saying that for sir, the sake of sir. equity, we should have First of all, thank you for your service, table. and thank you for your That's husband for his service as well. Thank you for your service, and thank your husband for his service. Since when are we thanking White House press secretaries for their service? As if they've spent time in the foxhole or something. As if she's been over in Vietnam or Iraq or maybe she's fighting in Ukraine. Thank you for your service. I thought was solely focused on veterans of the United States of America. But now apparently we give this, this very same welcome and this same, same thank you to the White House Simon, press secretary. Please stop. I understand, but Simon, you know, you know, for 15 months, you have been out of the way. And I'm saying that for sir, the sake of sir. equity, we should First have thank you for your service. Thank, thank you for your service. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. The reporter she was sparring with is this guy right here. He is from Today News Africa, and his name is Simon Ateba. He is the chief White House correspondent for Today News Africa in Washington. And he's gotten into it many times with Jen Psaki previously. Another thing worth noting is how this whole thing wrapped up with tears, tears, and more tears. And the reason why I find this to be kind of important is twofold. Number one, our friend Simon Atiba pops back in and interrupts and tries to get his poor question across one more time. And number two, something is illuminated by this. That fact is that these folks are all buddies. There's no adversarial relationship other than Simon and, and Jen Psaki. All these people are buddies. They're friends. You don't want journalists sitting in front of the White House press secretary who are friends with them, who chit-chat, who go have drinks or go grab lunch, grab a salad together. You want an adversarial relationship where they always keep them honest. And you can see in moments like this, you're not getting um, it. And I, as I said about Kareem last week, um, these people are already the stars of the team, but they're going to be shining stars in the future, and I'll miss them a lot. Okay. Whew. I promised myself I was going to keep it together. I'm not. This is the last part of this. Um, I want to thank all of you in this room. Um, you have challenged me. You have pushed me. You have debated me. And at times, we have disagreed. Um, that is democracy in action. That is it working. Um, without accountability, without debate, government is not as strong. And oh, you all play an incredibly pivotal role. Uh, thank you for what you do. Thank you for making me better. And most importantly, thank you for the work every day you do to make this country stronger. And thank I, you for uh, your I'm service. Very grateful. To is all this her saying thank you for your service right back at the reporters? It's kind of got that vibe, thank huh? You as well. So thank you for your role and to the role of your colleagues uh, here and around the world. Okay. Uh, here he goes again. Go ahead. Thank you, Jen. We wish you well. Hope you enjoy it. Can I do one more thank you? Because my husband is here. and I Oh, thank him for his service, right? Am I crazy on that? Let me know in the comments. Isn't that generally the line, thank you for your service, directed at people from the Army, the Air Force, the Marines, whatever, somebody who served in the military? And I'm sorry, if I see a White House press secretary on the streets, I don't care who it is or what party they're from, I'm not thanking them for their service. All they've done is teed up a career when, in her case, Jen Psaki, she's gonna take a high paying job 
at MSNBC while she was sitting there for months with this in limbo taking questions from MSNBC reporters. I'm not thanking for her for her service. She's gonna be thanked with all sorts of money from this lucrative media career she now has. This is stupid. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Oh, God. All right, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Facebook.com slash The News Junkie. Hit that follow button. YouTube.com slash The News Junkie. Hit subscribe. Let me know what you think about the final day for Jen Psaki and what happened with this reporter and whether or not you should say thank you for your service to press secretaries. I appreciate my supporters as always. If you want to support, you can see right below the post how to do this. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments and reactions. And we'll talk to you again real soon.